What's up folks, Garden State Geek, and we are back, we are back with a brand new uh, TCG, and we are going to sit here and talk about uh, Star Wars Unlimited, Sparks of the Rebellion. Uh, I just came back from uh, my pre-release at uh, Shipwreck Games. It was so much fun. Uh, I came in second, got some packs for coming in second. We're going to open those up while we open this second uh, pre-release kit they let me purchase. Also, I just want to show you the deck box. I picked up one of the deck boxes. This thing is awesome. Uh, it literally holds everything you need. Uh, it'll hold your deck perfectly. Like you know, Just to show you. And then it's got the tray here for your tokens. Um, and your that. And it comes with the... The snap case for your leader. But this thing, epic. Totally like, I think it's great. Definitely worth uh, a pickup if you're going to get into the game. I'm definitely, uh, definitely plan on getting into this game hard. It's a lot of fun. But we're going to open up a pre release kit here, give you, show you everything that comes in a pre release kit. Uh, hopefully, you can get to one of these and try the game. It's, it really is a fun game. Uh, so let's just start. You get a... a every previous kit comes with the special leaders. <clears throat> it's always the same two. It's always uh, the Luke and the Vader. And then on the flip, they're foiled out. Which is nice. Uh, <clears throat> these also come in the starter kit, but they don't come foiled. This is, that I know of, the only way to get them foiled. So... <clears throat> um, then you get your uh, six packs <clears throat> uh, generic deck box nothing crazy little divider <clears throat> and then you get your rules and your tokens which <clears throat> the tokens are kind of meh uh, I think you could just use dice that's what I plan on using <clears throat> but uh yeah let's uh let's open these packs let's see um <clears throat> i don't know everything about all the rarities yet and all that i know they're like full arts and galaxy foil or galaxies or warp speed light speed whatever they're called arts uh <clears throat> but yeah almost every pack looks like this is a leader card so you can see that Pretty cool. And then this is a base. Every pack should come with a base. <clears throat> and just so you know, the full art bases also have uh, shields. Uh, shield token can be shield tokens or uh, experience. Uh, <clears throat> so you have vehicles. Uh, so cool though. And we got our uncommons just to show you, just like any other game, you for uncommon. Wing leader. Oh, we got command. We got a, I think that's a legendary because it says L. Okay. And then we got a foil because every pack comes with a foil. Just like most other games. Um, but yeah, again, shout out to Shipper Games. They, they ran a great... Uh, pre-release everyone had fun uh, everyone was learning the game it was a good time uh, Sabine ran one of the supposedly one of the more broken leaders another example the shield token uh, <clears throat> but yeah uh, hopefully this is going down in your area hopefully you guys are, are trying the game out uh, Ooh, Ruthless Raider, nice. K2SO, very nice. Ooh, and a foil. Uh, ugh, can't talk today, jeez. <clears throat> Kanan. Can't talk. I cannot talk today. Oh, well. But yeah, um, but yeah, this was, it was just, it's such an easy game to play. Boba Fett, another uh, supposedly top tier leader. Um, 
And the product's cheap. It's going to be easy to get. It's not going to be like Bandai games where you're trying to get product is like pulling teeth. Bosk. Ooh, the ghost. Full art ghost. That is, that is cool. I like that. Count Dooku. And snapshot reflexes. Very cool. But yeah, uh, for the pre-release, you get your six packs, you build a uh, 30, 30 deck, or 30 cards to a deck, and uh, yeah, best of three. It was a lot of fun. Oh, this guy is broken. In case you're doing a pre-release, he's a great card for it. Full Art Rebel Pathfinder, very cool. Hardpoint Heavy Blaster. Ghost again. Seventh Sister, nice. This card is crazy. And the Emperor's Legion, oh, foil rare, very nice. Very nice. <clears throat> I just need a couple more of her and her lightsaber and I can actually build a pretty decent Darth Vader deck. Uh, ooh, full art Sabine Red. That's pretty cool. Force throw, very nice. Regional governor. And a foil wampa. Who doesn't love foil wampa? So this is your last pack of the pre-release, and then we'll get you no know, I <coughs> winter packs. Uh if that's what you want to call them. Uh Jin Urso, Echo Base. <coughs> Oh, that's cool. I like that full art recruit. Another Jer uh, Bib Fortuna. Hey, we got Admiral Akbar. That's cool. I haven't seen him yet. Restore one. Deal down. Okay, very nice. And no good deed. So that would have been our pre-release kit. Wouldn't have been. Would have been interesting. Would have been really interesting to try to build, but. But yeah, but let's get into these prize packs. I'm really excited to see what I pulled out of my prize pack. Uh, try not. Ooh, we got Palpatine leader. Another good card, or at least I think it is. Oh, we got Yoda, cool, all right. Cantina Bouncer, Regional Governor. Ooh, that outmaneuver, full art foil, that looks awesome. Wow, that's pretty cool. Come on, I need, to, I need another sister and I need the, light, the one lightsaber. That's what I really need. Generso. Ooh, foil Dagobah Swamp. That looks awesome. Gideon Hask. Okay. Mm, not, I didn't realize he was in here. And Zeb. Okay. All right, last pack. Can we have last pack luck here? I got two more videos coming, um, too, so don't worry. This isn't the only one we're going to have, but uh, another strike tree. This is a great card for the pre-release, and also just in general, another great card for pre-release. General Zadana, Cartel Spacer, Mon Mothma. Yeah. Oh, yes, another Seven Sister. That's awesome. And a Foil Force Throw. Very nice. That's awesome. That makes me happy. Means I'm not too far away from 
finishing that deck. I just need the lightsabers. Ugh. Of course, those things are going to be hard. But, yeah. That's that's it. That's the pre-release kit. Um, the game's brand new. Like I said, it's pre-release weekend, weekend. There should be some stores doing it. Hopefully, there's one around you doing it. Um, definitely worth the 30 bucks to try out. I mean, just the fact that you get these cool foil leaders at. It's the only way to get them. Uh, makes it worth it. And you also... Where's my deck box? Um, should get... This as well. It's a... Uh, it's an initiative token. It's plastic, but, you know, it's still cool. It's a lot better than just using the paper one. Uh, that was supposed to be handed out. And what was the other thing? I don't know where I put it. There's like a little deck box or whatever, too, that they give you. But, yeah. Hopefully you get the chance. Hopefully, oh, as I knock the whole camera out of the way. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll have some luck with it. Have some fun with it. If you're a Star Wars fan, it's it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, when I first saw it, I didn't, I didn't know how to feel about it. But once I got to play some games with the starter decks, I instantly fell in love. It's... Real simple to pick up, um, but takes a little to master it. Like it's not so definitely worth trying out. Go give it a chance if you can. Uh, but that's gonna do it for this video. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.